fantastic turnout we've had today. It's been one of the best we've had uh, for many years and the atmosphere has been superb, uh, been very very friendly. We were made welcome right from the minute we arrived um, after our long journey this morning for setting up at six o'clock so we were given a cup of tea thrust in the hand and that, that was fantastic. So thanks very much to Leyland for putting it on. I'm so impressed with your site. It's the first time I've been and it won't be the last I'm certainly going to bring uh, one of my engines to run here. Um, the track was super, driving round. Um, it was, uh, the, the, the straights were absolutely straight as an arrow, the curves, no kinks or anything. It was a fantastic track and a pleasure to drive on. So thank you very much Leyland for putting the, the event on. The event as you know is uh, a memorial event for 
uh, uh, for LBSC. Now, LBSC, I think, can be regarded as really the father of model engineering because uh, without him, I don't think the movement would be where it is today. Uh, his designs uh, have, have stood the test of time. Anyone who's actually made an LBSC engine or read his articles will be familiar with his style of writing, which is absolutely fantastic. Because it means, it, it, he wrote in such a manner that he didn't try to make the task too difficult. He wrote and encouraged people uh, to make uh, the model. Uh, when I was a, a small uh, model engineer this high at my local club, the model engineers there weren't all engineers at all. LBS, and the majority of engines were LBSC engines. And uh, one of the most prolific builders was a fish and chip shop owner. He wasn't an engineer and it was through the words of LBSC that uh, he produced his, his designs. When I was a student in the early 70s, I was in London and I went to the Seymour Hall, which was the venue of the Model Engineering uh, Exhibition. It's an, an exhibition I will remember for one reason and one reason only. On the stage there, I think it was 1973, were gathered the entire collection of LBSC engines. And I was 21, to, no, I was not, I was, I was a late teenager. And I can remember standing on that stage thinking, how on earth can one man build all this lot? Not only did he build it, but he described it and wrote articles about it. So this is why we're here. And I, today I've found that there's been a great willingness to try and keep this event alive. It's a fun event. It's not completely a, a serious event like Imlec. It's an enjoyable event and a fun event. And I think that's what we've achieved today. A big thank you also needs to go to the competitors. It's not an easy thing to actually get your engine on the track, light the fire and raise steam while you're being scrutinised. We're not really scrutinising, we're actually there to give you a helping hand if you need it, but it feels like it's scrutiny when you're actually stood next to your own engine and you're trying to get it steam and you can guarantee that if something is going to go wrong, it's going to go wrong when someone's looking at you. <laughs> so, um, thank you very, very much for uh, the competitors. And I think a, a special thank you goes to, to Chris Armand, who, through his own admission, is a beginner. And also, we know how fickle two and a half inch gauge engines can be. So I thought he did a very brave attempt to bring a two and a half inch gauge engine along and also to, to get it in steam and, and run it in front of people who are uh, there to, to sort of, uh, you know, to, to, to look and, and judge. It's not easy, not easy at all. So thanks very much everyone and now we come to the presentation. So if I hand over to John. No speeches from me except uh, I will, would like to say one small thing. I think the ladies as ever have always done us proud with the sandwiches. Ladies, thank you very much. Can you get a round of applause, please. <laughs> as is custom in these things, it is in reverse order. So we'll get straight to the chase. The, the third place, please, goes to Leyland member, Steve Hyam. Steve, Josh, where are you? Come on, come on. And a prize. Ah, thank you. Yeah, well done, that man. Thank you very much. Well done. Get up this way, Thanks please. Can you just start again, please, John? I missed you then. <laughs> Steve, 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 come back. I'm sorry. Right. You're a bit quick, John. You're going to get your pictures on there, John. You're going to get your pictures, Steve. Surely. Thank you. Thank you. Right. In second place, with an excellent Pamela, Jason, where are you? Take your certificate, and you got a handshake. Thank you. Well done. Well done. Thank you. And the winner, well deservedly, goes to an excellent locomotive that I've had the privilege of driving because he's from Southport. Ben, well done. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> But also, with her, you get this. 
That's to go with it. Oh, I've had the set now. You've had the set. There you go, you take that. Oh no, I haven't got it. I've got my own. Okay. Right, well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Do you want to leave it on the other side? We haven't finished because we have uh, some certificates, certificates of attendance for, for Norman and for Chris Almond, we are in gents. Come here, hold on, hold on. Hang on, back, 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 back. <laughs> Where are you, Chris? Here. You're not in, you're not in, yeah? You're not in, yeah. Thank you. With a, right, thanks. <laughs> Steve, I don't know, have we got a place for next year? Uh, I'm hoping so, but I'm hoping to offer as well. Yeah. Yeah. On behalf of Lane Society Model Engineers, again, our thanks go to the participants and the, the entrants. Had you not been able to make it, we wouldn't have had a competition. It's been a very laid back day, which is fine. The weather's been okay. So, again, thank you all for coming. Over and done, we're finished. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much.